The new AnchorMake M5C is so easy to use, it can be controlled with one button. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. So AnchorMake just released their brand new printer, the M5C, earlier this week. And since I've had it, it has been very good to use, and it literally just works. This one's really aimed towards new people into 3D printing, beginners, people who have never 3D printed before, and we'll see how that plays out through the rest of the video. There is one elephant in the room that we need to talk about with the M5C, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But first, let's check out what makes the M5C tick. It all starts when you get it out of the box, and it's a very simple, easy assembly. It literally is pulling a little panel off the bottom, putting the gantry onto the top of the printer, and screwing eight screws into the bottom. That's it. Plug the two Z motors in, and put the panel back on and literally this printer is all together. But after that, you need the spool holder and that goes on with four bolts. From there, it's just plugging this Bowden tube in and one cable in the back of the printer and you're done. It probably took me less than 10 minutes once it was unboxed to put this whole thing together and that is very fast. From there, we're ready to power it up. Once plugged in and turned on, it starts booting and lights up. Right away, you'll notice something pretty crazy about this printer. There is no screen anywhere on this printer, and there is one single button that controls the whole printer. No screen, that's it, that's what you get. And since there's only one button, that's where the app comes in. You gotta jump on and download the AnchorMake app, and once that's downloaded and installed, you'll need to register for an AnchorMake account. Once you do that and sign in, this is where the fun begins. The app actually acts like your screen in a sense. You can see the status or the status of a current print. You can see and set the temps. You can retract and load filament. You can home the printer. You can even run a bed leveling sequence right from the screen. And of course, you can print right from the app as well. And it's in the app you can actually configure your printer's settings. All you have to do is click the printer at the top and then the little gear right next to that and that'll bring you to the printer settings. Once you're in, you can do things like rename the printer, you can change the Wi-Fi connection, you can share the printer with somebody else who has the AnchorMake app if you want to, you can do some custom config like turn it off and on the notification sound or the RGB lights, and also you can change what that one button does right in the settings. That's right. In the settings menu, you can customize what that single button on the printer does. As we can see, while the printer's idle, there are three different options we can do by default. If we click the button one time, it prints the last print on the USB drive. If we do it twice, it'll actually repeat the last print you did on the machine. And if we hold the button for three seconds, it'll actually auto level the bed. And that's all on by default. And that changes while the printer is printing. There are three other defaults. As we can see by default when the printer is printing, it will pause the print if you press it one time. It'll actually resume if you press it again, by the way. If you press the button two times, it will do nothing by default. And if you hold that button for three seconds while the printer's printing, it'll actually cancel the print. So you can use this button while it's at idle or while the printer's printing. But the really cool part about this is that these are just defaults. These buttons can actually be customized in this menu. While it's at idle, there are currently four different options of what that button can do and you're using three of them with the three defaults. So you can actually go in and change any of those button clicks to one of the four options if you wanna kinda of change it up. Currently, uh, while the printer is printing, I believe there's only two options. Again, that can change with firmware or as Anchor Make goes, but currently, four options when the printer is at idle, two options when the printer's printing. I think if you're gonna get one button on the whole printer, it's really awesome to have that versatility to change that button to be what you'll remember, what each click means. I think that's very smart on AnchorMake's part. Now let's check out the printer itself. The base of the printer is made out of a die cast aluminum alloy and is actually pretty heavy, but it should make this printer more sturdy and stable while it's printing at high speeds. There is a filament runout sensor right here on top of the dual gear direct drive extruder and those hardened steel gears at a ratio of five to one push the filament down through an all metal hot end that can reach up to 300 degrees. That's perfect for those high temp filaments 
uh, if you had an enclosure that you were gonna put this in. Otherwise, this thing could print a wide range of filaments, everything from PLA to PETG to ABS and anything higher that goes up to 300 degrees, again, if you have this thing in an enclosure. The build area is 220 by 220 by 250, and it prints down on a double-sided magnetic PEI sheet. A lot of companies went to these sheets, and I actually absolutely love them, so I'm glad to see it here on the AnchorMake M5C. Also, something to note about this printer, they actually have guides for your flex sheet on either side of the bed. I really love that because all you have to do is literally drop it in. You don't even have to look. You can just drop it in and drop your sheet down, and that's it. Those guides make placing that sheet down super easy on this printer. Real quick, if you're getting value from today's video, please smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos about 3D printing, CNC, and lasers, please consider subscribing as I'm on my way to 100,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you all so much for being here on the channel. Now back to it. There is multi-point auto bed leveling built in. I believe it's 45 points. And you can do that right from the app or by default, holding down the button for three seconds will start that process. The M5C is a very nicely built printer. It looks great and it has printed very well since I've owned it. It also features speeds up to 500 millimeters a second, which is great because printers are going faster and faster these days. And at the price point this is, that's actually pretty good. Now let's take a minute and check out some of the prints I've done on the M5C. Now Anchor Make sent me over this white PLA Plus that they make or have made for them, I'm not sure. But it is in a box like this and it came in two different rolls. So I got two uh, rolls of white. Uh, so all my test prints will be done in the PLA Plus in the white color that Anchor Make sent me so far pretty solid filament, just so you know. Another thing I like about it is there's a little gauge here. It'll tell you about how much filament is left on the spool. You can see it up on the printer here too. That's a pretty cool feature for a spool, right? As I packed this away, the first print I did was actually the Gorilla phone stand that's actually built into the software, into the app itself. And I chose it and printed it right from my phone. It printed pretty dang good, with the exception of maybe a little bit of stringing up in this area. It printed pretty good. Overall, really good layer lines. It printed fast at like 58 minutes for this whole thing. I used the Anchor Make Slicer to slice the rest of the models you're about to see and send them directly to the printer from my computer. The first one I did was the 3D Printing World Gear Fidget, and this thing came out perfect right off the printer. As soon as this PEI cools down, it slides off. I didn't have to flex, I didn't have to pop it, nothing. And all of the gears turn, as you can see. It's just a really fun little fidget toy. Um, this thing came out really nice. I have nothing bad at all to say about this print. Then I printed the Maker's Muse Clarence Castle. The drawbridge came down, the gate goes open, and you can see the tower spins, and this is how it was directly off the printer. No modifications, no adjusting. It just worked right off the printer, which means the tolerances are set pretty good because I love Angus's tolerance tests and this one came out very well. In an effort to step it up a little and test this thing a little further, I jumped onto things and grabbed the 3D Printing World Print in Place Katana. I dropped it into the Anchor Make Slicer and used the default 0.2 profile to slice this thing and send it to the printer. I gotta tell you, when it came off the printer, it just worked. Everything came out, no adjusting, no finagling, nothing. It just collapses and goes out right off this printer. My son is actually gonna really love this because I'm gonna take it home to him, but this printed in less than three hours. I believe like two hours, 48 minutes. That is crazy for the print in place katana. And I think this printer did an awesome job printing this and I love playing with it. <laughs> so as you can see, this printer printed very well right out of the box. I didn't have to do anything special to make this printer just work. It may not have some of the fancy features of the original Anchor Make printer, but really, I don't know if it needs it. The one thing I really found myself missing was a camera so I could look in the app and check on the prints as they were going. Being a new printer and not being able to be here with it, I was a little bit nervous because you never know if it's really gonna finish. But I always went to that app and realized there's no camera. 
So if there's one thing I wish we could add, it was a camera to this machine. Other than that, it really does hit all of the check marks for a great printer for the beginner or someone that's brand new into 3D printing and has never done it before. At the time of filming, the M5C is on their website for $399. Actually, there's a $40 discount going on right now, making it $359 for the launch. I'm not sure how long that'll last, but for $359, this is really a great deal for how well made this printer is. I never got the original, but I am now sorry that I didn't. I really kind of wish I would have checked it out because I really, really like this printer. But there's one thing we need to talk about and that's the elephant in the room. I do believe that some people are not gonna like that you have to go to an app or to the slicer to control your printer. There's no screen. All you have is that button as we talked about. As cool as that is, I do know that there's gonna be some people that don't wanna use it. They just wanna use an SD card right from the slicer and that's okay too. It has a slot right here on the side of the printer for a USB-C SD card, and that should go in right there. Uh, and you can use an SD card to print from. So you should be able to print from that. Now, I don't know if you're gonna need the app to print from that SD card. I haven't tested that yet because I don't have a USB-C SD card with me, but uh, there are gonna be some people that don't like that, and I totally understand that. But for those of you who like to be connected, who like everything to kind of just flow, this thing is great. It sends prints directly from my computer, from the slicer, or from the app very fast, and it just works. With all that being said, I do have to say thank you to Anchor Make for sending over the M5C. They did send this over free of charge, and they sponsored this video. So that's why the little sponsored thing was in the beginning. They did not get a say on what I said in the video. They told me to do whatever I wanted with the printer to say whatever I wanted. And they just offered to sponsor the video. So I really appreciate that. And honestly and truly, this is going into my rotation. It is that good. I really like this printer and I think it's gonna get better with uh, firmware since I've had it. It's had two updates on the slicer and the firmware. So. Keep going, Anchor Make. The M5C is a hit. And let me know in the comments what you think of the M5C. And as always, don't forget to check out that one right there.